Hello everyone, welcome to the Advanced English Center. This is episode number 43 of learning new 5 sentences every day. Here I'm going to teach you 5 new vocabs along with the 5 new sentences. So you can see that today's vocabularies are very unique as well as you will find them rarely used in our daily life. Most of the people do not know how to use them properly even if very, even if very few teachers you will find they are not able to utilize them in a proper sentence. So as a result you have a problem solving the readings as well as you do not know how to write a good sentence or how to write a charismatic sentence that uh, attracts the examiner. So as a result you are facing a lot of problem and I've seen many people they talk um, like about a lot of things but vocabs is the most important thing that you sh should have learned otherwise you will never able to learn English in a proper way and it, you will always feel that actually something is missing and that's called the vocabulary so without without knowing vocabulary you will never be able to um, express your feelings or whatever you want to say you will never you know like you will never point it out in a proper way you cannot give a proper lecture so knowing them is very important so I think uh, with me you are going to learn those vocabs and I hope that you are going to learn them so that you can use them in your in your daily life. So let's get started. Look at the first one. The first one is he peers out at the girl. He peers out at the girl. So this is the vocab that is called peers out at. Peers out at. So peers out at means stare at, look at. Peers out at means stare at. So if you do not know the meaning of stare at, then look at the look at. I mean, you can see that look at. So look at is the synonym of stare at. So peers out at is the synonym of stare at or look at. So he peers out at the girl. So I think you understand the meaning of this sentence. Let me give you one more example. Why she peers out at the boy she peers out at the handsome boy so peers out at means stare at or look at so i hope that you understand the meaning of peers out at so i i don't think so now you need any more example go for the second one the second one is very good vocab scrawny 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 see scrawny means very thin in a way that is not attractive very thin in a way that is not attractive so he's scrawny so let me give you more example like uh, there are few scrawny chickens in the yard. There are few scrawny chickens in the world. Or you can say he is scrawny or she is scrawny. Someone who is very thin in a way that is not attractive, you can call that he or she is scrawny. So I hope that you understand the meaning of scrawny. Uh, from now on, you try to use um, it as much as you can. Go for the third one. The third one is he always saunters on the veranda in the morning. He always saunters on the veranda in the morning. Due to the shortage of his spa space, I, I, I didn't, uh, I haven't actually written the meaning of it. So let me tell you the meaning of it. It means like to walk in a very relaxed way, to walk in a very relaxed way, to walk in a very relaxed way. Saunter, S-A-U-N-T-E-R. Very good vocab. So I hope that if you know the vocab, you will find them very common. Uh, most importantly, like who are facing the competitive exam or someone who is facing like any kind of competitive exam, they always um, get this sort of vocabs and they're not able to understand. So if you follow my lesson, you will get them very easily. Okay, so he always saunters on the veranda in the morning. Saunter means to walk in a very relaxed way. So I think uh, let me write it for you. To walk in a very relaxed way. relaxed way so if if you think that you cannot memorize it properly so I, I hope that you should jot it down or write it down so he always uh, saunters on the veranda in the morning let me give you one more example like <clears throat> he's he sauntered casually through the window he sauntered casually through the window I mean through the sorry through the door he casually he saunters casually through the door he saunters casually through the door. So to walk in a very relaxed way. Go for the fourth one. The fourth one is the sudden death of my wife was horrendous. The sudden death of my wife was horrendous. Horrendous. Very good vocab. Horrendous means extremely shocking. So the sudden death of my wife was 
how rain does so if you do not know the meaning i think it would be very hard for you to understand and you will find this sort of words available everywhere if you face the ielts GRE, gmat or any kind of exam you will always find them very common so the sudden death of my wife was horrendous horrendous means extremely shocking the sudden death of my wife was horrendous let me give you one more example like the news that i heard from my friend was horrendous the news that i heard from my friend was horrendous so the sudden death of my wife was horrendous extremely shocking i hope that you want me to write the meaning of it extremely shocking so this is the meaning extremely shocking the sudden death of my wife was horrendous extremely shocking so i hope that you understand the meaning of it go for the fast, last one the last one is weak-minded people become paranoid easily weak-minded people become paranoid easily that that is the absolutely truth so paranoid means afraid paranoid means afraid so weak-minded people paranoid easily paranoid means afraid so weak-minded people become paranoid easily or afraid you can say paranoid means afraid so I hope that you understand the meaning of paranoid or let me give you one more example like <clears throat> I be I become paranoid seeing a large crowd on the street I become or I became or I become paranoid seeing a large crowd on the street so I hope that you understand the meaning of paranoid this is a very excellent vocab I hope that you you should learn them as as fast as you can because when you know how to use them like it enrich your level of you know speaking you can actually be very uh, stylist at the same time you will be considered as an inextricable speaker so you have to learn them at any cost otherwise you will never feel a satisfaction so you can see me that I'm always trying to teach you a very advanced vocabs at the same time I always help you as much as I can and this is a unique and a only one way how you are going to develop your speaking so i hope that you understand them all and let me paraphrase it one more time for you he peers out at the girl means he stare out or look at he peers out at the girl means he stare out or look at he is scrawny very thin in a way that is